I'd like to bring on Marcus to tell you all about EthOS. Please give him a big round of applause. Hey everyone, thank you for coming to my talk. Uh, today I'll be talking a little bit about the Dijon One, which is our first hardware device. And we like to call it the hardest hardware wallet. Um, yeah, so first of all, I'd like to give some uh, history about our uh, project. So we started out in uh, 2021, and at the time, basically, the mobile user experience for crypto was really bad. And um, the reason for that was basically not that uh, app developers or wallet developers were shit, but they had to basically work around the permission system of Apple and Google. Basically, they built up brick walls, and uh, it really made the whole experience very bad. And so we thought to ourselves, hey, let's just uh, fork Android and uh, make crypto like a really good experience on uh, on a separate OS. And then we launched, uh, after three years of working on that OS, we thought to ourselves, hey, maybe now is the time to make our own uh, hardware. And so we created the DGEN1, which we launched in Pragma, San Francisco, uh, in October last year. And basically, what is the DGEN1? It's a hardware wallet that is basically a unified platform. It has signatures, basically, uh, signing interface on the OS level. So you basically have one signer for all apps that you run on the device. And of course, no fees or restrictions um, on anything crypto related. And I want to also deep dive a little bit into something that we created for the DGEN1 ever since then. And we call it basically like an account abstracted EOA. Um, and we really think that it's basically the best thing to have now before uh, some EIPs get uh, more adopted, which I'll also get into. So what is an account extracted EOA? Basically, um, we thought to ourselves, hey, let's use uh, account abstraction because it has a lot of like super cool benefits. But the problem with that was uh, you can suddenly not connect to any DAP anymore. So like, cool, I have an account abstracted wallet, but I can't really do anything uh, with it, uh, especially like use any crypto DAPs. So we thought to ourselves, um, hey, let's bridge the gap, because basically there's this really cool EIP. It's called Send Wallet Calls, and it actually allows you to connect an AA wallet to a web DAP. And it's really cool, um, but not many DAPs actually support it right now. And I want to actually give kudos to Uniswap because they actually shipped it uh, a week ago or so. And so what we do is basically uh, take an AA wallet in the back end, but actually emulate an EOA to the developers and to the users. So as a user, you don't have to worry about you know, bundlers and paymasters and anything like that. You just use it as if it was a normal wallet but you still have all of the benefits of account abstraction. So I can, I'll, I'll get a little bit more into that, what it enables. So number one, basically every app suddenly has a smart wallet without having to spend like hours and you know, hundreds of hours building the associated you know, infrastructure, all the necessary code. And also, yeah, uh, every user has a smart wallet from the beginning. It's, not, it's, it's basically they start up the device for the first time and boom, you have a smart wallet. Um, also, we're solving basically composability and interop uh, interoperability of account abstraction because right now, uh, the current landscape of account abstraction is basically, okay, if I want to use account abstraction in this app, it basically creates a new wallet, and then I have a new wallet for every single dApp, and then I have 50 wallets I need to manage, and I don't know, are they in my browser or my phone or my YubiKey, I'm not sure. Either way, with this, you can basically have one account abstract wallet on the OS level, like deep in the OS level, that basically any app on top just uses it. Um, also, full recoverability. I mean, everybody knows account abstraction is uh, really cool with recoverability, which um, by using that, it's basically, OK, you have a hardware wallet. Well, if you lose it, you can just recover all of your assets on chain. And also, like, you know, a gas paymaster. Um, so, you know, basically you have like a, a dollar account on your wallet and uh, you never have to worry about gas fees anymore. Um, basically, you know, oh, there's this Freeman on optimism. Everybody knows this, you know, when you like connect your wallet and then you try to mint it and then it says like, oh, you don't have enough ETH on this chain. You're like, oh, fuck. 
now I need to bridge and do whatever. And with this, you know, with more widespread account abstraction, you don't have to worry about that at all. You just like, you know, have one account for every uh, chain. And really, what is this all about? Is basically, you know, having not one app implementing account abstraction, but having basically one account abstracted wallet for every app on your device. So what's the big picture here? Basically, we want to open up 100x improvements for crypto on mobile. So that means, you know, in our best case, all of our, basically all of our software is open source. So in our best case, actually Android takes this code from us, and then suddenly everybody that has an Android device has an account abstracted wallet without having to think about it. So that'd be really cool, but right now they're not doing that. And um, so basically also the DGEN 1 is basically like a whole new hardware paradigm because uh, it's the first hardware wallet that uses completely account abstraction uh, on the lowest level. And we're basically onboarding the entire mobile ecosystem to a smart wallet. To kind of recap, it enables every app to have account, uh, you know, account abstraction. Also, one thing I didn't mention yet, it has hardened security. Because we use 4337, I think 4337 has a big upside over the new account abstraction that just got uh, added in the Pactra update. It's so basically you can, instead of using a uh, you know, private key uh, that uses the usual Ethereum elliptic curve, you can use the P256 key, which you can put into most of secure enclaves. So on our device, we use 4337 because we can just put the secure enclave like deep, uh, sorry, the private key deep in the secure enclave, and it never leaves that. And the private key actually never touches RAM, which you know security researchers here will appreciate. Um, yeah, and basically just like we're, we're, we're basically trying to get more people, uh, you know, to use account abstraction, even though when basically these devices will ship very soon people won't notice it. And I think that's also a big thing with like t technology paradigms. It's like making huge UX improvements and usability improvements without the user necessarily having to work for it. And basically our goal since the beginning, since 2021 where we started, was making crypto a first class citizen on mobile. Because back in the day, it was really, really bad, and we thought to ourselves, okay, you know, I think, we think crypto deserves better, and that's why we started uh, EFOS. Yeah. Thank you for my talk. Thank you for listening. <laughs>